What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do an unboxing and review of the Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless headphones. Very interested to uh, get these unboxed. I've been waiting on these for a little bit and uh, I'm excited to get these open and share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are back in. Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless headphones. Ah, very excited about these. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about price. First off, uh, you can get these for $379.95 at on Sennheiser's website, uh, Sennheiser-Hearing.com. You can get these also on Amazon.com at $275.79 as of right now. They do have three different colors. They got black, as you can see here, they got white, and they have a special edition black with copper uh, detailing. Um, that one is will be a little bit more expensive. Uh, as always, I'll leave links in the description below uh, where you can pick up uh, the, this, uh, this product at those prices. All right, let's go ahead and roll into specs. You, you rock Bluetooth 5.2 with codec support for AAC, SBC, Aptex, and Aptex Adaptive Codex. So you got some high res audio with these guys. As far as noise canceling, they have the hybrid adaptive ANC system. You know, we always test that stuff out. And of course, with battery life, you get up to 60 hours with these headphones, even with ANC turned on. That is very, very impressive. They got a fast charging time of five minutes that will give you an additional four hours of playback time. And to uh, charge them from zero to 100 will take two hours, okay? As far as water resistance rating, there is no uh, rating recorded for these. I don't I don't understand why, but there isn't one. If I do come across an invalid, a legit a, uh, IPX rating for them, I will pin it into the comment section below. That way we'll all know what uh, what that is, okay? As far as special features, each ear cup comes with 42 millimeter drivers, four boom forming mics for clear calls. You got Sennheiser sound, premium comfort, app support for android and, and um, ios so all the apple guys out there they can enjoy these as well so uh again very packed pair of headphones let's dive in and see what we got here all right let me go grab my swiss my multi-purpose knife i'm gonna stop calling it swiss shout out to my man aram he always hooks me up all right Let's go ahead and get in here. 60 hours of playback time, sick. All right, right off the bat, you've got that case, very similar to the fabric on the, uh, air, the earbuds case. Very nice, nice and rugged, but we'll come back to that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm excited about this. Oh, okay. And here we are. We have the headphones, which we will come back and take a look at. We've got underneath the strap here, we've got our USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and that is a nice long cable. Very long. I like that. All right. And of course, inside the pocket here, we've got our user manual. Okay. We'll keep that to the side because we made that. We're going to definitely need that. And inside this nicely wrapped uh, packet is your safety information. I don't want to take this out because I really like the way that looks. But this is your uh, safety instrument information for the headphones and properly charging them. And of course, we got the troll poison. Let's go ahead. And of course, underneath this, we have our... 3.5, looks like to a 2.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack cable. Yeah, that's definitely a 2.5 just by looking at it. Take a look there, what you think? That's 2.5 here. Yep, all right, so we can go ahead and jack that in to a 3.5 millimeter port. This end goes into the headphones and we can rock out wireless or with uh, wire wireless or with wires and of course they have the airport 
adapter so you can plug it in if you're on a long flight you want to watch whatever the the flight movie is the in-flight movie is you can go ahead and plug this in and then run your 3.5 right into that boom and you're off to the races okay so that's basically what we got in the case what we want to do now is we're going to get this cleaned up we'll come back and we'll take a look at the headphones and Stay strapped in. I almost <laughs> lost my train of thought. <laughs> All right, we are back in Sennheiser Momentum 4s. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at the headphones. Let me zoom in, uh, let me tighten this up a little bit. All right, there we go. As you can see, nice, so I like the way they look. Got a plastic build to them. I, I like the fact that they keep the, the actual fabric as if like off the uh, case uh, from the headphone earbuds and of course matching the uh, actual hard shell case that they come in. I like the way they kept that with the Sennheiser logo on it. Very classy looking. Let me see. We doesn't ratchet, but just gives you that nice slide of the arms. Okay. Doesn't ratchet. All right. Let's see. Nice flex. Okay. All right, air cups got that. That not that was it that 180 degree swivel, so you can have it either way. I like that. They can also let me see. Can they fold? No, they don't fold in, so you can't uh, actually fold them. So they have to lay flat like that in the case. So. Uh, definitely having the case with these when traveling is a must because you can't really tuck them in. And anyway, if your if your headphones come with the case, I prefer you use the case anyway. Uh, but definitely like that. Uh, let's take a look at these cups. Very soft. These cushions on these cups is very soft. I like that. That's 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 nice. All right, as you can see inside the. Uh, the cup inside the cup on loan the speakers, you got your left and right, but also has uh branding as in here on the right says Sennheiser and on the left says Momentum 4. Very nice. I like the way they did that. All right, let's go ahead and take a walk through the uh, touch controls here on it. Very minimalistic. I think more likely you have some sensor action here because as here you have your power button. Let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, you got your power button, and this is your uh, battery levels and your battery indicate level indicators here. These LEDs here, they also have one for pairing. Okay, you got your charging port here, USB Type C, your 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, and this I believe is one of your mics for calls. As we take a look at. The left ear cup, there's another mic there. I'm thinking that's also for calls. Then of course you got over the top here. I think these mics are for noise canceling or even wind noise reduction. Very minimalistic. And of course you have your touch controls uh, here on the panels. All right. so. Let me go ahead and put this on real quick and we'll see that I'll show you a picture of what they look like while wearing. All right. And here's how they look. Let me zoom in a little bit, how they look in the air or on the air. Rather, you got a nice, all complete air coverage there. Uh, just a very, um, very light feeling, uh, nice, nice little clamping force, but not too strong. Uh, I did, uh, you know, sense a little, you know, warmth going on when wearing them, uh, a little heat build up around the ear and stuff. But I think mainly once I break them in, I think that will be perfectly fine. Uh, and as far as the headband, despite the fact that it doesn't have a lot of cushion up here, uh, it didn't feel like it was putting pressure on the crown of my head or anything like that. Let me give y'all another shot of me. This is me with the morning looking all miserable <laughs> and that's another shot 
of me having them on. Very comfortable. Uh, I did find them, like I said, other than the heat buildup, I found them very comfortable. And like I said, despite the fact that you don't have a lot of cushion in the headband. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these guys paired up and continue our testing. Stay strapped in. All right, we're going to get these paired up. Uh, right off the top, when you pull them out of the case, they automatically went and it goes into pairing mode. I did turn it off so that way I could get through the first portions of the case, of the uh, <clears throat> of the video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and turn these back on and get these guys into pairing mode. All right, now they're in pairing mode, as you can see. I like that rolling LED. I like the way that is. So what we're going to do now is we'll go into our Bluetooth settings. All right, it's in scan mode already. And it already sees the momentum force. So we'll go ahead and pair that. Do you want to pair? Yes. I just got a, a notification from the headphones that pairing was successful. You saw my volume rocker slide up. And as you can see, they are paired to the phone. All right, so pairing simple. Got a nice little notification to let you know that they are paired up. Let's dive into the app. All right, we are back in. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see the app a little better. All right, we're back in. Um, we're connected to the app. Let's go ahead and jump in real quick. As you can see, we got a picture of the he headphones here, the name Momentum 4 here on the left, Bluetooth connection showing there, battery level showing here on the right. Uh, we back up real quick up in the upper right corner here. You got uh, the person icon. That's where you can click on to go ahead and log in your information and everything. You know, when you log in, you get your name, app management, go into app settings. Uh, you know, as far as language and everything like that. Then, of course, you got the app intro, permissions, support, and legal information. Let me get back. Okay, there we go. Upper in the upper left corner. This will go in. You will show you the list of all your Sennheiser products that you have connected to this uh, app. Oh, it made me back out. All right. So now we're moving on down in the main screen. You got your connection management and here is where if you got a list of uh, devices you want to go ahead and connect to, it will show you that list. We'll cover that in a little bit later on. Or right, you got my sound where you will have, you can set up an equalizer. You can go in with your graphic equalizer. That's mine. Of course, we'll come back to that as well. Then of course you have your personalized sound where you can go in and create and uh, edit it. You can go in and say, uh, you can go in, it's a whole thing to do. Yes, I wanna exit because I don't wanna change my settings because it'll make you go in and do a retest and everything else like that. You got your zone, your sound zones. Now again, this is based on where you at. You can set noise canceling, transparency. You can set your, uh, basically everything. You can fine tune your whole profile uh, a whole profile based on where you are, like at home, the library, work, gym, wherever you might be have these on. Uh, you can go ahead and just hit that zone and then it will go ahead and go into those presets that you already uh, pre-established and you can rock out there. Okay, then because you got your noise canceling, uh, your active noise canceling here, you got the slider where you can get more, you know, go back to ANC or you can go to transparency or you can be somewhere in the middle. I, of course, you can have adaptive, which will basically adjust based on adjust the noise canceling based on where you are. I normally keep that off because either noise can I want all of it or I want none of it. That's usually where I'm at. All right. And of course, you got your side tones. So basically, it's uh, but lets you know exactly how you sound on the phone. Say, for instance, you have noise canceling on, you can hear yourself talking that way. You don't sound like you're yelling to the person on the other end of the phone. All right. And of course, you got your touch controls. You can go in. Uh, here, it will give you the rundown on how to use the right ear pad. And exactly, I think that's the, is that the right one? Yeah, I was right. <laughs> the right ear pad. Uh, basically, you can do your swipe gestures. And then, of course, your pinch and, you know, pinch uh, gestures as well as your double tap. Your, you know, you got single tap, 
uh, options. You got double tap options. You got swipe options. It's fully loaded. And this will give you a rundown exactly how to use it. They're all on the right ear cup. So you don't have to worry about uh, remembering if it was the right or left ear cup or ear pad that you got to worry about. Well, again, we'll go through those again later on in the app. All right, now moving down, or in the video. Moving down further here, you've got your settings. So if we go in there, you've got firmware update. If there was one up here, it would notify you right here. Right now it says the firmware is up to date. You've got your audio resolutions. You can go to standard or high res. Now, real quick, the high res, audio res, high resolution, you can use that, but you have to use it with just the standard equalizer. You cannot use it with your personalized settings. In order to use that, you have to go into your standard uh, uh, set, uh, audio resolution. It is the way it is. I don't know, but I'm gonna, we'll, we'll play with that when we um, excuse, do the sound test. But just to let you know, if you want to use uh, high res audio and, of course, the uh, personalized settings, it won't work. All right. So then, of course, you've got it'll tell you what codec you're playing. Now, right now, we're not playing anything, so it's not going to provide me a codec there. You got your comfort call, gives phone calls a more natural sound with sound experience. So we'll turn that on whenever you're talking on the phone. You got your on head detection. It will detect when you have the headphones on. Uh, once if you had and then, of course, we have one and off. It will automatically uh, go into power saving mode if there's. If you have that set up and it also holds calls automatically. When you, if you're on a phone call, you take it off. It puts them on hold, which is really cool. Then, of course, you've got the smart play pause. So when you take off the headphones, uh, it pauses your audio. It's like if you're just watching the video, listening to music, uh, you take them off. It'll pause your audio, pause your video as well. And then when you put it back on, it resumes uh, where you at volume level and everything. You got auto play pause, which is then tied into the head on head on, on head detection. If I can talk, uh, give you 15 minutes. I have it set for 15 minutes. Uh, so it was, if it's on, once it goes off in 15 minutes, it would then power off to save battery life. You can also go in and adjust it from 30, 15, 30, 60, and then nothing at all. But I leave it at 15 minutes because I think that's good enough for me. And of course you got your tone and voice prompts. You could change the, you can change if you want them off, you want tones only, or you want them both. I want them both because I'm greedy like that. And of course, you got your English setting. Basically, uh, it's the same stuff that you've seen. If you have like the Momentum 3 head earbuds, you know it's this is the exact same settings. Um, you got your product information. That's going to be different, but it's still, you know, just like the uh, headphones or the earbuds. Then you got the factory reset option here where you can restore everything back to the beginning, like when you first pulled them out of the uh, box and everything. And of course you got your tiles, which you can turn on and off. Like I'm gonna turn off uh, zones cause I, I don't need them. All right. Uh, other than that, everything else seems to be exactly where I want it. You can go ahead and switch these off and on at your leisure, uh, depending on how you want your main screen to look. Okay. Then of course down here at the bottom, you got discover. And just like on the other apps, you can go through and check out all the products that Sennheiser has to offer, speakers, other headphones, other earbuds, so on and so forth. So it's a very, very well done app. I really do like it. I like the features and everything. So let's go ahead and continue our testing. All right, we are back in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the on, on head detection and everything we're going to see if we take once we play music and we take off the headphones will they pause uh like they say they do let's get started we got lenny queued up so let's go all right we got audio playing so what we're going to do now real quick is we're going to take off the headphones boom that was quick it paused it instantly all right let's go ahead and put that back on i got a little chime and now the music picked up again, I mean, almost instantly. It was really quick. Let's go ahead one more time. Boom. Pause. Just that quick. All right. So the on-air detection and autoplay, smart play, works fantastic. Let's continue. All right. We're back in. What we're going to do now is a touch control test. So I had, we obviously have the headphones on. We got Lenny queued up. 
Let's go back. Let's back him up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get music playing. Okay, music is now playing. So what we're going to do now is all before before I start, all functions happen on the right ear, on the right pad, on the right ear cup. So you don't have to worry about knowing whether it's left or right. It's just everything's on the right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit pause, which is a single tap. All right, there it is, single tap, and it's, it's off. Well, it pause, so let's hit it again to play. All right, now it's playing. Now, in order to, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to skip tracks to the next track, you slide forward. Took me to the next track. Now to go back to the previous track, you slide back. Took, all right, took me back to the beginning. Slide back again. Now I'm back to the previous track. Okay. So now you could, there's two ways to, uh, actuate noise canceling and transparency mode to flip on between the two. You double tap. All right. So right now I'm in transparency mode. So I'm a double tap. Now I'm in noise canceling mode. Let me pause the music quick. All right. I'm in noise canceling mode. I did hear the fan from the refrigerator in the backdrop that got quiet. So now I'm a double tap again. Now I'm back in transparency mode. I can hear myself clearly and I can also hear the fan. All right. And of course you can always do the pinch version of it where if you pinch your fingers towards each other, like from the old onto the pad and you squeeze like this. Let me show you real quick. If you go like this on the pad, you can, um, increase noise canceling from transparency. If you go out like this, you're going in the other direction. You're going from ANC to transparency. So you don't, you do have a way where you can set a certain degree of noise canceling as opposed to, uh, transparency mode. All right, so how I'm gonna show you that real quick by going into the app. I don't know why it's gonna make me do this. It's gonna reconnect back in. Okay, so now we're in full transparency mode, okay? Now, if I pinch inward, you see, you see how I moved? To A and C, it's moving again, and again, and again. Now, I'm at the end, it even gave me a, a little chirp to let me know I'm at the maximum noise canceling level that I could be at. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my fingers on the touchpad, I'm gonna go this, and it's gonna take me back the other way. See, now I'm getting more towards transparency. So that works. So, but like I said, you can always double tap and it takes you right over to noise canceling. Double tap again, takes you directly to full transparency. So you do have, you can switch between them full ways or you can just slide either way to gradually go in either direction. I like that. So let's go back into our music. All right. Let's see. Now, if you want to increase the volume, touchpad from the center, move up. See how it turned my volume up. Now, the same thing for re decreasing the volume. You want to go down. It takes your volume down. Now, if you do it from the top, let's see. If you do it from the bottom and go straight up, it slides with you. And then you can go back to the bottom. It takes you back down. So all the touch controls work, obviously with phone calls. If you want to answer the call, you swipe to the, you swipe forward and you might, and I'll pick up the phone call for you. Let me pause this. It'll pick up the phone call for you. If you want to, uh, end the call, you swipe backwards and it will end the call. If you want to, uh, you know, have them go rate the voicemail. You hope you press and hold onto the touchpad for two seconds. It will reject the call, send them to voicemail. If you're on a call and you want to pause it, you can either a take the headphones off or 
you double tap on the right ear cup, it will put you, it'll put them on hold. And then double tap again, it will, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you double tap again, it will bring them back in. Like if you're having like a, a you're transferring between calls, like if you got a call coming in and you're on a call, you double tap, it will take you to the call that's coming in. It will allow you to switch over and then back again. If you're on the second call, you double tap and it goes back to the first call. All right. And then of course, if you're on the phone call, you press and hold the multi purpose button here. It will then, you know, mute your mic and that way they can't hear you. Uh, if you're on a phone call and you're one of someone comes in and you need to, they want to talk to you. You just press that button and it will automatically mute the microphones and you can have your conversation, press it again. And then you're back in. So again, well-rounded controls for these headphones. I love the fact that you got the touch control features on the ear cup and everything works flawlessly. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're going to do now is we're going to test the multi-point connectivity functions for the headphones. So we, we know we already got them connected to the, to my phone here. Okay. We already know that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get them connected to the uh, tab S8 ultra here. So we got the headphones here. We're going to go ahead and put these guys back in pairing mode. Let's see if we can. All right, we're back in pairing mode. So now we gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these up and go to details. <clears throat> I forgot I was in Dex, but that's all right. Still works. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, get these guys in. All right, laptop sees them. Let me blow this up full screen. Uh, come on. All right, there we go. Laptop sees them. So we'll go ahead and pair. Or tablet sees them, rather. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right, got notification that pairing was successful. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and connect these to the phone as well. All right. So now it says connected to the phone as well as the tablet. So we are good to go. Multi-point connection established. Let's continue with the testing. All right, we are back in. Now that we got multi-point connection already established, we're gonna check and see if we have audio switching uh, with, the, with the headphones. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play on the phone. All right, I got audio there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and see if we get uh, audio switching when we hit play on the tablet, let's see. No, it will not even play. You see how it went back to pause? So it doesn't even play. I have to literally pause it from the left, from my phone. And now allows it to play on the tablet. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones in a crowded location. All right, we are outside my backyard. About to do the ANC test for the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones. As you can see, we got traffic from the turnpike over this way. We got traffic from the street right behind me. We got some Central Air units running. I don't know if they can pick them up on the mic, but that's what we have. So what we're gonna do now, we're in transparency mode. I'm shooting this one with my S23 Ultra, uh, so I cannot show you the app, but trust me, we are in ambient and transparency mode. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and double tap on the right ear cup and get into noise canceling to see how it does. All right, noise canceling has been activated 
And I can say it's doing a great job. It's completely wiped out all of the sound from the turnpike over here. I cannot hear anything from the traffic behind me on the street behind me. Uh, and there's a subtle wind, but I can't even hear that noise. So it's doing a really, really good job. And right now, right before I turn this on, the Citroën unit's turned off, so I really can't get a test of those yet. Um, but as of right now, the noise canceling is doing a great job. Again, I'm only you doing this uh, strictly ANC, no audio is playing at this time. Uh, during the testing, it's just the strength of the noise canceling software within the headphones, and it's doing a fantastic job. Uh, I would definitely give this one, uh, let me see. Yep. I, I definitely give this, if I had to rate this, I will give this noise canceling an eight, a solid eight on these ones. It's very good. All right, so this has been the ANC test for the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones. One of the best out there. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get into the sound test. So what we're going to do, we already got repaired up. Let's go ahead and jump into our music. Where's my pen? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our music. We're going straight in from here. You know how we do. We're going to have to retire Lenny for right now because we got other business to tend to. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make sure we had our optimal listening level first off. All right, normally I'm down here when it comes to headphones because we don't uh, use that. All right, and one more thing. Let's go ahead and jump into the app. All right, let's go back into the app. What we're going to do now is we're going to go in. We're going to listen to the song a little bit and personalize settings. Not not too long, maybe to like a, a few notes. And then we're going to go back and we're going to switch over. And then we're going to go into the high risk audio. And we're going to compare the, compare the two and see which one we're going to rock with from now on. Okay, so... Right now, we are in personalized settings or sound personalization, okay? So we now we will go ahead and jump in. Wrong song. All right, here we go. All right, now we're in personalized settings. Let me go ahead and put noise canceling on. All right, noise canceling is on. Okay. Sounds pretty clean. Okay. Nice detail with the piano. All right, so we're gonna pause it here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the app. And now we're gonna go into the equalizer. All right. And now we're gonna go in and go into settings, audio resolution. We're gonna flip it over to High resolution, all right? Yeah, it's gonna restart the headphones, all right? So, once we're back in, now it says high res all resolution, all right? We're in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and get it back to our song. Let's back up, let's play. Again, we're still at the same volume level. All right, now we got no, we are noise canceling as well, still, so nothing's changed on that end. I like the high res audio. I think I'm getting a little bit uh, clearer vocals on this, a little bit more crisper. All right, here goes the. Oh, yeah, we're going to stick with high res audio. Wait a minute, let's go back. Hold on. Let, let's hold on. Let, let's, let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go back. I want, let's go back to standard. All right, we're, we're in standard now. Now let's go back and make sure we are in our personalized setting. All right, we're there. Now let's go back to that, back up. Here we go. Oh yeah, personalized setting. All the way. High res audio, yeah, that sounds good, but I'm getting 
Not only am I getting the uh, the base that I'm getting, I'm I'm getting the natural brightness. I'm getting the nitro clear in it, the crispness of the piano and the background instruments. Yeah, we're sticking with personalized setting all the way through. Definitely. Definitely. Now I got the chorus playing in or the background of uh, vocalist. Yes, definitely staying with this. I love how clean this is. I love how clean this sounds. I love the clarity. I love the, uh, the sound stage. It just sounds fantastic in a personalized setting. Now we want, I, I no knocking the, uh, high res audio and a lot of people, uh, rave about it. But in this song, I think the, uh, just this, my, you know, sound personalization has a much cleaner, much clearer sound than it, it does on high res. Uh, in that song. All right. So, you know, we could continue the experiment. All right. We want to, let's go back in here. We'll go back to our second song, our E40, our bass song. Woo -wee. All right. That bass is serious. Clean. That's oh Yeah. Oh, it's just rattling. I love it. Now the sub bass rumble on that was, oh, so good. And again, and it took away that, uh, the high pitch sound from the auto tune. It took that away, which was, which, like I said, is one of them things that gets to me every time I hear it and certain headphones, certain earbuds smooth that out for me. This is one of them. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back in, switch over to equalizer. Go into our settings here. We're going to flip back over to the high res. All right. We're in high res again. Let's go. Let's back up. Mm. Now this is the bass has a lot more power on this one, but the clarity as you can definitely tell the difference from the clarity. I think that, I think that the, uh, I think that the, the sound, the clarity of let me back up. I think that the, let me pause this cause that bass is getting me. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to explain this and that bass is just rattling in my head. All right. So what it is, is and I think in the high res audio, the bass, which is fantastic, is clean It punches it rattles that sub bass and everything. It's a total package. However, I think that the actual vocals, uh, take a hit on this one because they sound a little muffled. They are not as clean as and clear and you don't have, it feels like to me like there is not a balance there. Um, whereas if I went into personalized settings, let me go ahead and deactivate this. All right, if I go back into personalized settings and then go back into that song, Now I got clarity. I got nice, clear, clean, crisp vocals and I got balance. So that's where I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to stick with that moving forward with these headphones. E40 sounding very clean, very clear. I'm liking it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, some, in, in some instances, uh, it depends on your, your listening to how, how you want to hear it to me. That's, this is where it is for me. Um, but again, let me, all right, let me put this in transparency mode. It doesn't sound like I'm yelling or I'm talking in a, um, under a blanket or something. It feels like it anyway. Uh, it depends on your, your listening style. See, I like, even though I'm a bass head, I like that bass stump. I do like clarity in my vocals as well. And I like the crispness of the instruments. So I'll, I, you know, I'll, I want to have all of it. I can't, I don't want to have one and, and downplay the other. I want the whole package and going with the personalized settings, you know, sound personalization with these headphones with the momentum force gives me exactly that. So that's what I'm going to go with moving forward. 
Let's go ahead and get into our final song. I thought that was a very worthwhile test. Uh, I hope you guys agree and gals agree, but I, I really did think that was important. Let's go in. We got Kenny G. Let's go back into noise canceling. All right. We got noise canceling back on. Got a great sound. Very clean with the. Oh, yeah. Mid Lee saxophone sounds just just as crisp. And again, you got that balance. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Very clean. And um, if you pay attention to the kick drum in the back, you're getting a nice little thump. All right, here comes the high note. Oh yeah, really clean. I like it. Now we got the rest of the band coming in. Oh, it opens up nicely. Love it. Fantastic. It's a great sound. Absolutely. Oh, sounds so good. Oh, and I just love it. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to come back in with my likes and dislikes. For the Sam, excuse me, the Sennheiser, listen at me, Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones. Stay strapped in. All right, let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes for the sound. The, there I go. Again, what is with the, the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones? Let's start with my dislikes. There's not really many dislikes I do have for these. Um... Let's see. The only ones I do have is I wish the headband had more cushion up here. And the fact that I do, you do feel a little heat after a little, after a little while of usage, um, with the, with the headphones. So being very active, uh, going to the gym, you will generate a lot of heat and begin to sweat onto the ear cups and everything. So you want to, uh, just be mindful of that. But other than that, no other dislikes. So let's go ahead and peel over to my likes. All right, let me turn these off because I'm triggering things. <laughs> Apparently it was still powered on and it triggered my, um, voice assistant on my phone. All right. My, uh, likes about this. I I like the weight. I like, you know, not too heavy, very, very com You know, I like the ear cups, uh, despite the fact that you, you know, you get warm after a long period of time, they're very comfortable. The clamping force doesn't, uh, doesn't make it unpleasant to use a, you know, very nice, very soft too. Um, I love the touch controls on the right ear cup. I like the way that you can uh, go ahead and actuate that various, very responsive too. So, um, you know, you don't have to keep going like this, you know, just to hope it actuate. Uh, they're very responsive to any type of, uh, command that I put in. I really like that. I like the minimalistic style of them. I just like the overall aesthetic of them. Uh, even with the Sennheiser logos on both arms, I like, I just like the way these look. And of course, as far as features are completely, completely loaded, you, you got uh multi-point, you, you, you got ANC, you've got the works and everything. And as far as the sound, my goodness, these sound amazing. I, I, I got the QC ultras, uh, here. I got the XM fives here as well. I got, I didn't do an unboxing of them. Um, because I, I got them, uh, refurbished. So they really didn't come in their entire boxing. Um, so they didn't get an un uh, uh, unboxing like all the others, but still I do have them in the house and they will be going up against these. I can't wait to do some head to heads. I got some other ones coming too, as well. This is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. All right. So. I, I went off on a tangent, uh, again, 
Not too many dislikes. These are some solid headphones. Let's wrap this up. So this has been an unboxing and review of the Sennheiser Momentum 4 headphones. Definitely worth the price tag, fully loaded. I completely enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing too. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll check you on the next one. Peace.